guys, we are back. It's day two. We are getting this whole area cleaned out. I might even start tearing down this. And over here, we have to clean out this shed as well, which has a bunch of stuff. We're gonna get to it. I'm gonna put on a time lapse. We're just gonna start filling up this dumpster. All right, guys, I was ripping off this outside and I'm gonna show you real quick. You can see right through there, there's a ton of wasp nest. So I didn't get stung luckily. I just found out Brandon is super allergic to it. So that's super scary because you never know where these things are hiding. What piece you lift up, there could be a nest under there. So we're gonna get back to it and just be extra cautious. All right, guys, we got some of the stuff in there cleaned out. We got about half of that building um, tore down. You can see our trailer right there is pretty much completely full. So we're gonna come back and do another load, hopefully get the rest of that, maybe everything inside that metal shed. We did get some stuff over here as well. But yeah, there was a lot of stuff in there. There was some wasp and stuff, but um, I haven't seen anything else. I did see a couple mice too but no snakes yet, luckily. And as you can see, it's just absolutely still trash, but we're gonna come back after we go to the dump and get back at it.
All right, guys, we just got that whole pavilion tore down. Still got to work on that metal shed a little bit. There's still some stuff in there. Got another trailer load here. So when we get back, we're going to be tearing down this the rest of the way, get all that trash. And then we have all this trash over here and this little building here. Uh, we are making a metal pile as we go, but you can see there's a lot of wood and stuff all throughout here too. So got to pick up all this sporadic stuff. There's some stuff out there. So we still got a few more loads. I got some bad news too. I actually pulling out of here the other day, hit a metal fence pole and messed up my brand new truck. So that absolutely sucks, but it's one of those things. Hopefully I can just replace that bumper. Getting in and out of here is actually a real pain. So that's something else I gotta look at, but yeah, so I'm gonna head to the dump and then we'll come back and get back to it. All right guys, so this is the deck that's on this house. Um, the guy who's gonna demo the house gave me two different prices. One to remove the house with the deck and one to remove it without. It was about a $400 difference. So I was gonna try to attempt to just take this down by hand, but I don't know how they built this thing. It's just like taking all my energy to try to get it apart. It's actually 11 in the morning, but it's already 95 degrees out here. So I think I might just let them tear that down with the property and Hopefully they take all this stuff back here as well. So I'm just gonna fill up some more stuff on this load. Got a couple more pieces of metal there, but my main concern too is if they can get their equipment through here, cause I might have to take this thing down by hand, which will be a whole nother situation. But like I said, as of now, I'm not gonna tear this down. It's just too hot and it's just taking too much of my energy. All right, guys, so I'm back here, and if you notice something different, there is no longer a mobile home here. So where my truck is, that's actually where, like, the deck and all that stuff, and remember, I tried to tear down the deck, but I couldn't. 
We got uh, Philip over there. He's filling up the last of the trash. So I had another company come in. They completely removed this mobile home out of here. And I'm sorry, I did not get that on video, but I do have some pictures I'm gonna show you guys right now. So check out these pictures. They had a lot of big equipment in here, tearing down everything. And see there is some sporadic stuff like this camera or this light, just little stuff throughout the yard that I like to pick up just to do a little bit extra. They pretty much took everything. There also was a little building right here they tore that down as well so that was awesome because that would have probably been a pain but we got to pick up some of these bricks there's a lot of bricks right here i don't know what that was all about but just kind of go through here and grab little miscellaneous stuff as we go then just these little pipes and stuff they couldn't take the tire so when we go to the dump we got to actually take the tire to a different place and then over here we just got to get that little wheelbarrow but yeah guys they did a pretty good job on clearing all this up obviously they can't get every little single piece it took them about a day for them to tear it down and i don't know how they got a semi back here so remember i actually got stuck and messed up my truck over there so they actually had that semi right through here and then they just filled it up they can fit a whole mobile home in one semi which is pretty awesome and I guess they had to remove that fence a little bit. So, I mean, that was kind of a given. Hopefully the homeowner doesn't say anything about that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much this whole area. Pretty much all done. Glad I didn't have to do it, honestly. But I'll show you guys everything else. Over here, there was just a bunch of cans and stuff he was burning. I picked up all that. I do gotta, like I said, get a few pieces of this broken bucket out of here. A little bit more right there but everything else there is pretty good and i'll show you guys what this area looks like so remember there was a shed right there you saw us on video getting rid of that and there was like wasp nest and stuff in there so that was kind of annoying over here you remember they had a huge weird thing set up here i'll try to put a picture of that up as well because that was just weird and i mean it's got a nice concrete thing here and there's water there's a nice retaining wall so um and all that stuff up there the police actually came and talked to the people when they were tearing down the house and said that um they got a fine for all that stuff but i guess the guy died or something so this guy he inherited this property when he was six years old i guess and i guess his cousins or something own all this other land he said they used to do cockfighting and all kinds of stuff it was a crazy story apparently that's not his these this is a whole separate lot so i think i don't know he said there's another the whole lot's like two acres or some and that's uh that acre up there is his uncle's he said don't worry about cleaning up past that line right there so hopefully that's what he wanted he lives in pennsylvania i'm sending him pictures of everything he already sent me all the money if he comes down and has a problem you know it's only 10 minutes from my house but i think we got everything that he talked about but yeah the cops came over and talked to dirt cheap who was doing all that mobile home demo and we're like you got to get all that stuff up there and i said that's a whole nother story but we can give you a price to get all that stuff we can go check that out too if you guys want to see all the stuff up there but we got this there was a metal shed here i'll try to have a picture of that as well and i leaf blowed off this patio there was trash all back there there was trash all in here and guys i can't get every little piece i mean i think it rained really hard so it actually exposed a lot of the stuff because it was cleaner than it looks now you know we'll see what the customer says um there was stuff in here stuff right there stuff over here and then there was stuff all in this little building as well which is just a scary little building so we ended up charging 7900 for everything that was including the mobile home demo and they ended up doing that for me for like 3500 so we came out with a big big profit on this one um, it was a lot of loads and everything like that and you got to rake the whole yard and everything but uh overall turned out pretty good so what do you guys think did i charge enough did i charge too much um let me know what you guys think in the comments um, if I looked up all the equipment to tear that mobile home down myself, because I was like, oh, maybe I could get the other 3,500. And it was about the same price that they charged me. And they have the equipment to do it and they did it in a day. So that worked out. And they tore down that other building basically for free, which was just an added benefit. So 
Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. And uh, let's go check out this other property just for fun. A lot of stuff up here too. Got a painted fence in the distance over there. Like I said, he said this was in his family for years. I think there was a mobile home up here at one point too. Looks like some of it's still here. Let's kind of show you guys how much crap is everywhere. Yeah, that looks like the mobile home or a barn or something. They just pushed everything into a pile. Now, this is something I wouldn't even want to tackle by hand. But I'll step back a little bit because when you start getting like stuff mixed with dirt, you'll just be pulling and pulling and pulling. This is where I want to get a, a skid steer with a claw on it or an excavator with a claw or something just to pull this out. And that's what the, that other company offers. They have big, heavy equipment like that. Because I've done enough of just hand loading stuff and I can do it, but if you pay a little bit extra or you find the right guy, you can almost do it for, it'll make it worth your while just to pay them. But yeah, look at all that. And then we'll just keep going. There's a deer blind or something up there, I don't even know, and a can crushing machine next to it. So I let people form their own opinion about what we see here. So I mean, we could do for fun, like an estimate for this as well, but this is just kind of just to show a little bit more of this property that it connects. Here's kind of an overview too. There must have been a building there. But that's what you gotta always watch for in South Carolina is the snakes. I mean, up here, it's like these people just saved all this siding for some reason. I don't understand why people save stuff, but it's not my life, it's theirs. So whatever makes you happy or whatever. Look at all these cinder blocks up here. Those aren't even cinder blocks. Those are some other kind of crazy blocks. So yeah, who knows reasoning behind it. That I mean, that's pallets, it looks like. One, two, three. I mean, they're not on a pallet, but that's a lot of blocks yep up here is some other crazy stuff too wow there's a bunch of stuff up here all right we got another like trash burn area i don't know if people think glass and metal is gonna melt i mean that's like a mattress or a chicken wire on top whatever okay well this looks like a trash hole up here this was the party place Let's see all these beer cans oh man look at all these tires this must have been just a trash place you got this barrel just filled up with water here yeah look at this tvs tires they charge you to dispose of this stuff so that must be why they just a lot of people too they'll dig holes and just bury it which just blows my mind but yeah there's probably 50 tires you guys can see all the i mean this wire that's worth something but i don't take anything i mean unless if it's really valuable but there's nothing valuable here this is all abandoned but yeah, see how this is all covered in pine straw and that would just be a disaster for me to try to do. I'd have to back my trailer up. So I have no idea what I would charge for something like this. I don't even want to, hurts my brain to think about right now, but I'd probably just have that other company come out, give me a price and then just tack on something. You know, even if I make a couple hundred bucks, I don't have to do anything. Um, besides just give them the lead basically uh, but yeah let's check out this area too looks like maybe they had some chickens or something here's a carpet that just sits out it's the disgusting and always weighs a lot oh yeah then we got this stuff over here and whatever was going on over there i just see some bees and stuff over here so there's probably a nest but here's a big overview so, I mean, I could have been totally wrong on the acreage here. I mean, you can see my truck way down there, so it could be bigger than, I don't know exactly. I think he said two to four acres or something, but I didn't even realize there's stuff way back there. But yeah, guys, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification button. I'm gonna get back over to Philip because he probably feels like he's just loading up all by himself. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.